Well, pretty light day today for Supreme. Um, they pulled the hoodie I wanted this morning, so don't have that to show for. But hey, after the day, I might be actually running on time for things. Stay tuned to see why. Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like at the end. Also feel free to leave me any comments or questions down below. Hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming up that I don't want you guys to miss out on. As well, so be sure to check out our membership tiers. We've got some great membership perks on there, so be sure to take the time to check that out when you can, as well as our merch store. All right, so it is Thursday and it's also Earth Day. So happy Earth Day to everyone. We are gonna be going through our lookbook today, talk about items I was able to pick up in store. I did try and go for a few items online this morning. I unfortunately took some fat L's and was unable to cop any of the items that I really wanted. Um, one was the dog work shirt and I wanted that kind of that lavender purple color, but unfortunately, ugh. I couldn't get it online. And of course, that was one of the fastest items to sell out. So first off, we are gonna start with the items that I was able to pick up in store. It was pretty light week for me this week. So just giving you a fair warning, it's not gonna be a huge lookbook altogether. Uh, after that, I'm gonna go through the sellout times and then we are gonna conclude with how the items I picked up in store are doing currently on the resale market. So I hope that you guys were able to take some W's today online or hopefully you got a number and were able to go pick up some items in store. I know that this wasn't the most exciting exciting week that we've had with Supreme, uh, but there were definitely a few pieces that I was looking at and I was able to pick up. So we are going to start out with the first item. And this is the collab with South to West 8. And this was the multi-colored mesh bag. I was really actually excited about this collab until I saw some of the price points, unfortunately. The jacket I really wanted and the mesh pants I thought were really cool were a little above the price point of what I wanted to spend, uh, but I didn't mind actually spending a little extra something on this bag. This is so cool in my opinion. It's actually like completely uh, breathable. It's got the mesh and you can actually see it through this, but I like the multicolor because it's like, you can see through it, but it would be kind of difficult to honestly see all the items that you have in your bag, which I like. Uh, so we've got the Velcro, which closes it on each side here, which is quite nice. It actually looks like a miniature backpack in a way. Uh, so as we unzip that, we also have an additional zipper here. So it's not just Velcro, you also have a zip compartment and it looks like they've included the strap inside here. So let's take this off so we can take a look at the strap. It's mesh as well, it matches the bag absolutely to a T. And then we've got the hooks on here to attach it. Looks like it's really easy to attach and they also give you different areas it looks like to attach this strap to. So depending on where it looks like you want to strap it to, I'm probably going to do it on the side right here, but this is really easy to actually clip on here. Not difficult at all. And it looks like you can also change the length on this bag if you wanted to. This is obviously the shortest length on here. Uh, but it is nice to have that option because I'll probably wear this more like a crossbody. So we've got that nice Supreme logo with some antler ears on the front there. 
And then we have a tiny but mighty Supreme logo on the side as well. But this is just a really kind of nice, breathable, lightweight bag. I think this is great, especially for the summertime and probably gonna use this when I do go hiking the summer because I plan on taking some more adventurous trips and really exploring different areas and really going out there in the environment and getting some new fresh air. Uh, so hopefully this will be a great bag to take with me. All right, so next up, I was able to snag a clock. I did see the measurements on this saying it was four inches. I wasn't taking it literal though, so when I saw this, I didn't realize how actually small this clock is, but it is really cute, I'm not gonna lie. Like this is a very, adorable, almost Polly Pocket like clock. But hey, you know what? It's gonna wake me up in the morning. I could definitely use that. Seiko, Psycho, Seco clock here. So it looks like it's got clock, a beep, automatic alarm stop button on the top there. Nice and big, it may be a small clock, but we've got a large but mighty click button here to shut that alarm off when you just wanna like, kill it <laughs> snooze we've got a light a stopwatch a countdown timer a calendar and uh of course the sand that's on included looks like we've got the batteries that we can include in the back here so let's just take out and see what we've got here the instructions oh amazing it comes with some batteries which is great so let's actually slide these batteries in here and take a look at what happens with this clock when we actually turn it on. So that just kind of slides off really easily. We are gonna just throw these batteries in here and see what the clock looks like. Ooh, she scared the crap out of me. Oh my God, I wasn't expecting that. I'm awake. Whew. All right, you guys are with me. Did you jump or was it just me? Was I alone on that? All right, so remove this tab before use. So we're gonna take this tab off here. My nails will actually allow me to do that. Let's take this tab off and see what's going on. Oh, is it already starting? Yeah, it looks like the clock is working effectively. I feel like I need to turn off the lights though or something to show you guys what this would look like in the dark. So I obviously think you'll be able to see this in the dark and this is too, too bright for you. So actually very easy to make this glow. <laughs> oh, whoa, look at that. One press of the top button there and voila, we have a glowing clock now. Not so bad. Oh wait, I guess it just unglowed. <laughs> there you guys go, there you have it. That's how bright the clock gets. <laughs> but yeah, this is just a nice, simple clock. I'm a fan of this. So you've got all your settings and it looks like a charger. So there's actually, what's really cool about this is it's battery operated. So you don't have to worry about a cord on this clock, which is really cool. Um, and it's super lightweight. This would be basically the perfect clock, I think, to travel with. But knowing me, I lose stuff every time I go and stay at hotels. So probably not the clock that I want to bring with me, but I do like that you have that option to, you know, bring this lightweight clock with you on your travel especially if you want a handy dandy good alarm clock to wake you up in the morning um, let's see what we have here supreme certificate of guarantee we've got the instruction manual here uh, we have with this last paperwork here uh, I can't read this uh, but yeah, so everything you need to know in this instruction manual, probably how to do the settings on the timer on there, how to set the alarm and the calendar on that. This box is really cool actually. So it's got the Supreme wrapped around it, a nice pop of red to match the clock. So just for size proportion, I wanna show you guys how small this clock is. So this is a just normal size Funko Pop. <laughs> got uh, Kong in the house to show you that he's around the same height as the clock. And then we got Sean Wertherspoon over here, which is a little bit taller than your usual size of Funko Pop, but you can kind of see how little that clock is.
but overall I'm pretty stoked with this clock for a price point of $48. Uh, not mad and you know, for those of you who want a travel clock, this is the perfect clock and you heard that alarm go off. Man, that was, that was an annoying alarm. It wasn't a pretty nice wake up call, which is my ringtone call. It's like, or my ringtone alarm is very um, subtle. It's very calming. I like a calming alarm. I don't like a da -da 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 -da. It's a little too much for me. All right, so those were the items that I picked up in store. I know pretty light week. The only other item I really wanted was that dog work shirt and the graffiti hoodie, which dun 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 did not end up dropping today. So we're probably going to be seeing that at another later point in time. Um, but that was the hoodie that I wanted to go for. And I really just wanted that Snoopy with freaking done saying, I hate losing because it's a true story. I really wanted that shirt and that purple was so fire. But of course I couldn't get it online. I couldn't get it on store, but that's okay. Cause I take L's too, just like everybody else. You know, you guys may not think I take L's, they do take else. All right, so let's get into the sellout time so you guys can see what sold out the fastest in the US. I'm pretty shocked that the Supreme South to West 8 River Trek pants were the first item to sell out in the XL, but hey, I guess who doesn't need a pair of black cargo pants? You know, looks lightweight. That went in 19.2 seconds, followed by the Seiko Marathon Clock, which went in 19.6. I knew that that was going to pretty much fly off the shelves, uh, so that's of no surprise. Followed by my dog work shirt and small and the pale purple. Oh, so beautiful. Then we've got the Supreme Southwest 8 Bush Pant, which went 25.2 seconds. And those were those mesh see-through pants, which are pretty dope actually. And they turn into shorts as well. So you've got the option to have shorts or pants, uh, followed by the XL and the pale purple dog work shirt, which was my, one of my top items that I, again, did not get. Uh, then we've got the same Trek pants, but that they sold out in a large in 33 seconds, followed by the Supreme South to West State bush pants in the multicolor in the XL, then the signature label top in pink small, which I had a feeling that was going to be the first color to go in a size small. Uh, then in 46 seconds, we had the fishing rod, that expensive fly fishing rod go. Um, then the printed stripe top in peach. I actually really like that peach colorway. It's kind of, kind of growing on me, but I didn't go for it. Uh, followed by the Supreme Southwest a pocket tee and a double XL. Uh, so those were your top items that sold out today in the US. Definitely a pretty light week. I feel like for a lot of Supreme goers, probably one of those weeks that I think a lot of people kind of just took a break on and passed on items. Uh, but I'm glad that I was able to pick up a few just to kind of give you guys a perspective on what they look like in person as far as the resale which we're going to conclude with the clock which retailed at 48 dollars is currently reselling for around 112 which is pretty, pretty good for resellers i mean it's like going for double um and then we've got the multi-color mesh bag they have here for the collab uh that is going for 96 dollars um so not that uh bad of a price point for the bag uh, and the black colorway is going for around 97 for resale, which is just a dollar over the multicolor. So they're both going for around the same price point. All right, you guys, thanks so much again for tuning in to another one of my Supreme lookbooks. Until next time, if you're new to the channel, so glad that you tuned in today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to leave me any comments or questions on things that you guys picked up today. Did you take W's? Did you take L's? Or did you just pass on this week, which is perfectly okay. Um, also be sure to hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on as well as be sure to check out those membership tiers as well as our merch store. All right. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you on the next video.